Hi, everybody. Merry fucking Christmas. Okay, this video is all about the CHT and EGT wires. So I to, to do this, right, each cylinder has a e, uh, CHT probe and an EGT probe so that you can monitor the engine temperatures of all the various things. Well, <clears throat> each one of those probes needs one of these wires. This is the yellow type K wire that you can order from Spruce. I found just that one 50-foot bundle of it was more than enough. I just cut them into equal lengths and... Well, that's not... No, that's, that's not true. I didn't cut them into equal lengths. I did actually wind up with some spare. I think I wound up cutting them to like... Oh, more or less like th three and a half to four feet a piece. It's really just more of a pain in the butt because it's really just organization. Got to make sure they're all plugged into the proper pin numbers and then that you have the right labels on them. Again, right, labeling, look, wiring for these planes, and I've said this, you know, I want to run, every, I want to pop every rivet, or set every rivet, I want to, you know, run every single wire, and I, and I still do. Uh, but again, wiring is nothing more than just like 20 bucks in zip ties, and about 10 rolls of quarter inch uh, print on shrink wrap tubing. That's it. That's it. That's all, that's all the wiring really is. And patience. All right, let's see. Because you're just watching me fiddle with wire, I got some Q and A here. Actually, Q and A about the about the about the wiring. Um, would you do the wiring again if you had to? Well, of course, if I had to, sure. If I had a choice and I had free money, would I let someone else do the wiring? Uh, probably not. I'm just I'm so cheap, and I know that I can do it properly. So why would I pay someone else to do it? That's like, why don't you get the quick build? Well, too many, too many, too many bad stories of quick build stuff. Plus, I'd rather do it myself. Yeah, what you're watching is basically assembly line work because it's not that difficult. It's just you know, cut, trim. Uh, you got to get the strippers out, strip the wire, crimp on the pin, do a quick test with the uh, fluke to make sure you've got a good connection, and then plug into the connector, stick on the sleeve, or I should say, stick on the uh, the uh, stick on the the, the printed sleeve because this is, it's all just about labeling. It's just eight wires. Look at it, right? It's just a mess. It's just putting eight wires eight identically colored wires through that plane and you have to know which one's which so again labeling very important so again half run to the left bank half run to the right bank and then everything is good uh, the one thing I still have to do in this area, especially, is I need to take that bus manager out. I have one wire I have to, not fix, but I need to change out. And I really don't want to do it, because taking that thing off can be a pain. And it's not that taking it off and putting it back on is a pain. It's, I'm worried that after that area is sealed up, that putting it on and off is not going to be as easy as I thought think it's supposed to be and I'm think I might really regret the placement of it but we won't really know until the future so I'm hoping I'm wrong which whenever I hope I'm wrong I'm usually not and whenever I hope I'm right I'm also usually not but that's different yep, wire tie wire tie wire tie all right hope everyone's having a great Christmas I hope you're watching this tomorrow because you should be having fun today and not listening to a disgruntled middle-aged man working on an airplane. <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining me, everyone. Hope you have a good weekend. Good holidays. See you soon.